Hello everyone, guys, there is something really strange happening in the market right now, really something I wanted to share with you, so I decided to make this emergency video. And I'm going to also tell you whether I've actually closed my $300,000 Bitcoin short trade or not, and whether I'm actually adding into it and what I'm doing. So stick around till the end, you're going to be absolutely astonished as to what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's just jump right into this before we move to the short and talk about all the technicals and something that is absolutely crazy. Um, let's just quickly go over all the news and let's start with some positiveness because we all deserve some positiveness on this beautiful Saturday. And guys, tell me in the comments, how is your Saturday going? Is everything great? Are you in Enjoying the markets right now or what the hell you're doing tell me in the comments right now so first things first uae has announced world's first free zone for digital and virtual asset companies which is actually russell kema because i live in dubai and there is an emirate which is called russell kema and when they're opening up and creating this separate free zone for crypto companies trust me guys this is quite huge and uh, to add actually more awesomeness to this fact this same free zone is going to be exploring bitcoin payments for its services for the visas company for etc so all the stuff that you need to pay to actually open it and this could actually be a huge thing to be honest and this is what is happening in uae right now and remember that we guys spoke about bahrain we also spoke about saudi arabia we spoke about what is happening on hong kong and china so this is very positive quite frankly also one more positiveness is uh from the side of the derivatives market so basically uh when it comes to the options market so uh, something amazing has happened on the options side after the expiration of the february contracts for the first time since 2021 the puts to calls ratio has come back to even and as you can see in this chart right here so it actually is back at basically at even so it's the same amount of puts and calls so longs and shorts in simple terms and this is why is this quite positive is because the market sentiment potentially could start shifting that the market is going to less is going to be a bit less bearish so this is basically what it means unless you know this is just because of the expiration and they're gonna all the bigger players are going to actually reposition themselves into more shorts again so but that's remaining to be seen but nonetheless it still is quite positive nonetheless now the next thing and now we're getting into the negative aspect we're going to move to the chart and talk about what is actually even more negative in the chart itself silvergate actually you remember that this huge drop in crypto happened because of silvergate and silvergate actually suspended crypto payments network and their the, the, and their shares actually fell even more it just happened like to, today basically march 4th so this saga silvergate saga keeps on happening and it's just not getting any better and it's actually get, getting worse by the minute so we're gonna actually keep you guys updated so subscribe and hit that notification bell now the next thing is even i mean i mean come on let's like what the hell is going on so much fud so much propaganda so many actions of the regulators against cryptocurrencies and right now we're seeing that binance us like us senators are accusing binance of illegal financial activity and binance us is as you know sec actually said that binance us is operating unregistered securities exchange this is crazy and the u.s senators are actually probing uh binance uh about the potentially illegal business practices i mean look at this look at this i mean this is just the definition of karen three u.s senators have asked the crypto exchange binance and binance us for documents and answers pertaining to potentially illegal business practices the lawmakers told binance uh, cz that his actions have called into question the legitimacy of his business and the safety of the customer assets <laughs> let's just be honest do i really think that binance is in real huge trouble they don't have the money they have a hole in their balance sheet i don't think so i think that actually binance is very more than solvent they're probably they still probably have some issues yes maybe some commingling of whatever but i'm pretty sure that they actually are safe however as it says right, right here that u.s lawmakers are probing binance and that it potentially faces investigation into potential crimes i mean doj has been already investigating binance for quite some time but this situation is just not getting any better and tell me in the comments if you think it's all just you know a retribution for cz you know just being the last act for in this whole ftx collapse situation so he him being the actual cause of this drop of ftx which has been this you know 
super mega US exchange that everybody was supporting so much. And then CZ came about and just showed everybody what the real face of Sam Bankman Freed actually is. So anyway, this is, but I mean, it still is hugely negative. So this is something that could potentially be suppressing the price of Bitcoin anyway. And here also is, I mean, the, all these quotes, I mean, they're pretty ridiculous that what literal, what literal information about Binance's finances is available to the public suggests that the exchange is a hotbed of illegal financial activity. And this is what the senators have actually written. And they've concluded that your company's apparent attempts at evading the enforcement of anti-money laundering laws, securities laws, information reporting requirements, and other financial regulations cast serious doubt on the stability and legitimacy of Binance and its related entities and on your commitment to your customers. So a lot of fun, really a lot of fun. And uh, actually Binance came out and responded to this Karen right here, who is probably the biggest anti-crypto politician of the United States. And um, they responded that they actually are welcoming engagement with policymakers and they look forward to responding to the senator's requests. And the spokesperson also added Binance US is confident in the strength of its operations, including its anti-money laundering, AML procedures and other compliance programs. And they also describe two policies that they, um, they stand by, the one-to-one -one reserves, etc. Certainly, there is some controversy involved here. And certainly, guys, I mean, don't keep everything at one exchange. And I personally, I have some money on Binance, but I prefer to use exchanges that actually don't have any thought about it. That, for example, is Bybit. And also, by coincidence, they have the biggest bonuses out there. So if you want to get up to $30,000 in initial deposit bonuses, then go down into the description of this video and claim those $30,000. I mean, you have to use my link, sign up and deposit money and then go to the reward center and claim all of your cash bonuses and also if you deposit more than 100 bucks you will actually enter automatically into a rolex giveaway 500 bucks you'll get my famous paid crypto course for absolutely free which is like it costs about 500 bucks uh, so you'll save yourself 500 dollars and imp improve your trading substantially and all deposited users get access to my uh, famous crypto signal community for absolutely free for a lifetime there's a link to it down in the description of this video where we actually post all of my trades and the trades of my team so um now now, uh, what's important to understand is before we move to the chart, because Bitcoin right now is looking like a stable coin. It's very uncertain. It shows how uncertain Bitcoin traders are. It's, it's literally like a frozen cat right now. Like, this is what it looks like. Everybody's super scared shitless as to what's to come. So one of the things that is to come in about 10 days from today is March the 10th is going to be the CPI. It's going to be very important for us because it's either going to confirm what we saw in PCE and the reason why it actually dropped so much already. And or it's going to actually say that, okay, maybe we are actually starting to accelerate in the descent of inflation at this point. So it might actually uh, be positive. So everybody's really waiting for the CPI reading. But before then, what we have to pay attention to is that literally look at it. Bitcoin is like a stable coin right now. So it's been moving to the side for so long. If you're going to look at a four hour chart, it just looks like a stable coin, honestly. So um, this actually brings me to the topic of this whole formation. So we have very important support. As of right here at about 22,000, well, 22,000 dollars. Remember from previous videos, I told you 22K is very important. And right now we have this resistance at 22,400 that if we're going to break above, it could potentially put a target at about 22,600. So this because, uh, again, just technically exiting this um, uh, vicinity and this actual formation. However, what is most important for us right now, guys, what really worries me, and we're going to get to my trade in just a second, is that take a look at S&P 500. It actually rallied. I mean, look at this move in the four hour chart. If we're going to take a look at daily, it actually it actually pumped and it stopped right at this resistance. We're going to see how Monday the market, how the market is going to open, whether it's going to actually turn down or we're going to actually break above to the upside on the hopes that inflation actually is not going up. So the same thing we're going to see in Nasdaq, the same thing we're going to actually see in the Chinese market. You know, remember, we saw that the Chinese more the Bitcoin started moving uh, following Chinese market more. So and also this um, the Chinese composite index also actually went up yesterday so everything was going up but bitcoin actually was going down it actually was going to the side it was like a side move so the question is you know remember we were so hopeful that bitcoin has decoupled from s p 500 etc and now it's doing the opposite so the actual other high-risk assets are going up and bitcoin is going to decide so this is really worrying for me and this is what brings me actually to the topic of what i'm personally doing with my short trade as of right now i told you already that it is a very good idea exceptionally great idea to take some profits at least half of the profit on this trade but as for me 
and you guys told me in the comments on the previous video that you should that I should keep it and see if I can make some more money on it so I've kept it and I still have it untouched right here wrecking in about $16,000 in profits but again it's a very good idea to take some profits right now because unless we're going to see something very terrible more developments with Binance and all the fud that I've just des uh, described in this video we actually should probably see some upside on Bitcoin simply because everything else is just going to the upside and Bitcoin is just going in a side move which just makes no sense and that's why it really worries me potentially we have something more happening and more fear in the market that actually could potentially lead us to breaking of 20k so for me again this is again this short trade is more of a hedge for my long-term bigger portfolio so if i end up closing it with zero it's fine for me but if you're making money as an active trader like this is your primary job please take some profits it would be very smart because we could see some kind of a retracement maybe even retest of 23k very very possible but for for me let this be a degen short trade again and considering that everything else is rallying but bitcoin is just standing and doing nothing this is what really worries me in this instance so let me know what do you guys personally think down in the comments with understanding all of these small bits and pieces that i've just discussed and i think that monday will show us exactly where bitcoin is going to be heading next let me know what do you guys think check out this tutorial as to how to trade bitcoin with proper risk and money management and as always peace and love thomas Kralo. stay smart stay rich and i'll see you in the next bitcoin update Cheers.